Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm honored to be here, and thank you for the invitation. It's my pleasure to share uh, some thoughts and my experience with change. Uh, that's the invitation I've got to speak about change. And the biggest change I have in, experienced in my life was in 2006, uh, resulting in what you just saw right now. Uh, until 2006, I was uh, working in corporate life. Uh, corporate life meaning uh, for working for uh, big organizations like uh, CSM, uh, Red Band Fanco, maybe you heard about it, Red Band uh, Candy or Fanco Licorice, uh, Droster Chocolates, uh, King Peppermints, and after that I joined Campina, and Campina is, is known in the Netherlands because of Optimel, Campina Milk, uh, Mona Desserts, uh, quite a lot of uh, products. And uh, in my life, I, in the end, I was part of the uh, 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 board of directors of the Netherlands, of uh, Campina Netherlands in Woerden, and I uh, shared with my colleagues the responsibility for uh, 1,200 employees and uh, 1.9 billion uh, turnover in euros. And so that's, that's quite a responsibility. Uh, we made a lot of desserts for everybody in this room, uh, about uh, 16 million per day uh, going into the Dutch market. And in 2006, I had an, uh, an appointment with our CEO, Mr. Tini Sanders, and now he is the, uh, the, the director of PSV Eindhoven. And uh, I had a conversation with Tini, and he asked me, well, uh, we will have some changes within our organization, and you are my man for leading uh, Campina Russia in Moscow. And that's quite a question you get. And um, that leads to change. Most of the times you have adjustments in life because the winds change or things in your family or in your, your employee and your career change, that's adjustments. But real change is if things, let's say, differ from what you like to do in life, what is your ambition and what is presented to you. And so that led to a discussion, uh, what is important to you uh, it's your children, 11 and 9, it's your family, it's your parents, and you say, okay, five years to Moscow is quite a challenge. And in 2006, I said, no, I will not go to Russia for five years because that will give me a, a big uh, difference in what I did. And I started my own company called Holland Foods. And I started Holland Foods from my home office. And I can tell you, if you like, you start your own company please uh, join me later on, because starting your own company is the best you can do. First, having experience within your uh, corporate life, wherever you work, and then based on all the mistakes and the learnings you made, have your own company, because you are totally independent. And that's what I am. I, I have a company, Holland Foods is without uh, financial uh, investments from banks, uh, no other financiers, because I think banks, and you can see that a few weeks ago with SNS, they, always, or they already have problems in, in leading their own activity, being banking, uh, and, and even if you go to a bank and ask for loans, that's very difficult because you have to present a plan, and, uh, well, if you do not know how to run your own bank, let's say, because we have already three or four banks in Holland who are under Dutch regulation, then maybe it's better to start with your own uh, investments. So I started with a, a laptop and from my home office, but I stayed in the business where I was active in. And that's an advice I can give you. If you are a soccer player, and maybe not be a soccer player anymore because you are getting older, but then be a coach or be a team leader, or what do, but do something in what you have learned to do. So I worked for eight years within Rep and Fenko, nine years within Campina, so I started Holland Foods with uh, an activity in dairy and an activity in confectionery. And that's what we do today. Um, and it's a, it's a virtual organization. Holland Foods is, is a company without employees. Because employees, in, in uh, specific now, we have a crisis. And in 2006, we had no crisis. But I think if you are start your own company, you should not start uh, with, with uh, adding costs to an organization. 
So you have your house, don't hire a, a big office, or have a big car, or have people, because people like to earn money, because they do something for you. And what I do is, I act the same as before. So my company is, is uh, hiring the best people in Holland, the best uh, tax uh, people, the best designers for our designs, the best salespeople, the best distribution companies, because we do business with Albert Heijn, we have about uh, 20 products within Albert Heijn. We do business with Jumbo, with uh, Macro, Metro, Sligro, and in there we always have about 30 to 40, 50 products, because my company is about 20 million in turnover now, and we still do it without people in Holland Foods. And now we started last year with Holland Foods in Belgium and Holland Foods in Germany, and there are no people. We hire people. And that's uh, what we call uur factuur. Hey, you have an hour and you get an invoice. If you don't need the people, you don't have an invoice. It's more expensive, but in total, it's less expensive. And you are, let's say, more uh, creative because the moment people do not perform, you can go somewhere else. And my company is, I think, quite successful at the moment. Um, we bought uh, one company two years ago, and now we are the biggest in uh, Dutch heritage products in, in, in the Netherlands. Huh? Um, and last year we bought a company nearby in Tegelen, and that's a lollipop manufacturer. And now we produce about 80 million uh, lollipops a year in one of the factories. And uh, maybe you say, well, how does it work? But Holland Foods is a company we buy from 15 different companies. And two of these are mine but the other 13 are not mine. And we base our all everything we do on the insights of consumers. And I think if you are, and I had lunch with an artist um, and, and some other people, and I think if you make movies, you start if, uh, with what would like people to see. And my uh, dream is uh, create what people want to eat. And people like to eat candy, uh, not every day, of course, but you like to have sometimes uh, a candy, sometimes something else. And that's what we do. So we base our uh, company insights on what consumer insights give me. And that's giving me uh, the possibility to grow very fast, because if you start, like I said about soccer, we know the, the buyers of Albert Heijn from my previous life. I know the uh, competition because of my previous life, the suppliers because you have the experience. And that's the advice I would like to give you. If you have change, make the change, of course, with the background you have. And then you only can be successful. And I, I brought a book with me, and that's a book uh, from Marina Knope. And uh, that's not uh, over there uh, from uh, the bookstore, but I can recommend it to everybody, because it's called From Wish to Reality. Uh, the crea creation spiral, the creation spiral, meaning how do you get to your wish? Very important, but a wish should be a goal. And because a wish without a goal, or if you cannot make a plan of it, it's just a wish, and it will not happen. Like the previous speaker, it will never happen. And if you spread your wish or your goal around, people will help you, like the other speaker said. And if I have the dream of being the, the biggest uh, trading company in Holland in lollipops and in dairy uh, products, that's what we do and it's spreading around. So people will phone me and say, well, are you looking for companies because I would like to stop or I would like to do this? So I can advise you just to read a book like this. And of course, other, some parts will not help you, other parts will help you a lot. So make your wish reality and create your own reality. Because people ask me, well, is it possible to make change? Of course it's possible to make change. Because change is what you do yourself. If you have the intrinsic uh, energy to make change, you will realize it. And the other people will help you to realize the change. So you're not dependent on your environment because you create your own environment and you create your own uh, reality. So I hope you can do something with my views, with what happens in my life. Uh, I'm now seven years working with Holland Foods. Sometimes we are on the air, like the NOS uh, Journal at 8 o'clock, and some other programs, and 
is, is spreading around that Holland Foods is a company developing and uh, being there in the Dutch market. And in 2006, nothing was there. So I hope you have some ideas, some, some tools, how to make it happen. And I'm pleased to welcome you to speak with each other later on. Thank you. Three, two, one, ready.